Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena. And this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. If that interests you, then make sure that you click that subscribe button, as I would love for you to be a part of our little family. Today's video is going to be a monthly budget with me in my happy planner. We are budgeting the month of June, and I'm just showing you a quick flip through if you have never seen this planner before. Now I am going to be setting this up a little bit differently than I would usually set this up. So this is how normally I would set up my monthly budget. As you can see, it's my fixed expenses and my variable expenses, but I did not particularly care for this system last month. I feel like my expenses were a little bit jumbled up. I did not have enough space for my fixed expenses. So things like car insurance had to be under my variable expenses. So I decided not to do it this way this month. I decided to use graph paper instead and separate my budget based on the type of expense that it was instead of just fixed and variable expense. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just add some washi tape across the top. This is just to give it a little bit of design and to be able to write at the very top that we are looking at our June 2019 budget. And if you're wondering about the stickers that are going to be used in this particular spread, I got them from Michaels and they are the Sweet Kawaii Design stickers. They were about $5 for a book of stickers. So the first category that I'm going to be setting up is my home expenses. And these are all of the expenses that fall under the category of my house meaning the mortgage, my utility bill, the energy bill, our AT&T, which is our internet, our gas bill, our water bill, and the pool. Um, we do have a pool in our yard and we have weekly maintenance. So that's the monthly fee that goes along with that. And then I'm going to add up all of the expenses associated with the house and then I'm going to write down the total. So this is kind of keeping me on track of knowing what expenses are falling under what category and which ones I can cut kind of first so like home expenses are pretty much going to stay that way because we need all of those things to survive they're a part of our four walls so we're going to keep make sure that that stays up at the top the next set of expenses are our travel expenses so we have our car note car insurance our gas our maintenance and wash i do have to have some maintenance done this particular month so i have already budgeted in the 300 dollars that i would need for that and i'm hoping that i won't have to take anything out of sinking funds and i will be able to use it out of my actual june budget Oh, and let me address it before I get a comment below. My car note is not $1,000. I only put $1,000 because these are my goal numbers. Every time I do my budget, my monthly budget, this is what I ex want to have happen throughout the entire course of the month. It may not always happen this exact way, but I do like to put down goals because we are on a variable income. So I like to set our income goal based on the expense amount that we would need for that month. So currently I'm working on my debt payoff category, which includes our taxes, uh, credit cards, student loans, it's gonna be medical bill and my dental bill. So like I said before, these are all of the um, amounts that I would love to pay to in order to pay down our debt. But if it does not happen, this category will probably be the first to get cut or in other words, the last to get paid. So this will probably be things that I will pay toward the end of the month once I see how much extra money we actually have. But I will cover the house category first. So the last category that I have is my personal family category, and that includes our food, which is a grocery bill, is about $150 a week. We have our savings, my goal is $1,300 for the month, so it's like $325 a week. My kids' hair, they both go to the hairdresser. I have two toddler girls. The subscriptions that we have in the house, um, investment back into my sticker shop, which I'll try and do $100 a week. My kids' activities every single week, and then grooming for my husband and grooming for myself. And my grooming includes like hair supplies or nails or different things like that that I like to do in order to, you know, keep myself together. 
So now I'm just adding my summary and this will basically be the um, total of all of the expenses together. So I know my goal for my income this particular month. So I'm adding up my home expenses, my travel expenses, my debt payoff expenses, and personal and family expenses. And the grand total is 10,100. So that is my monthly income total that I would love to achieve. Like I said, if it happens, that would be absolutely awesome. But if it doesn't, then I will just um, adjust as needed. So now that I've broken down my exact monthly total, I know exactly how much I need for the month, but I also like to break it down based on the weeks. So what I'll do here is I'll pull out my June 2019 calendar and I will write down the exact day that every single item is due. So like my mortgage is due on the first, so I will write that down on the first. And if I am able to pay the entire month on the first, then I will do that and just jot it down on that particular day. But I do have until the 15th to cover the entire mortgage. So if I end up paying half of it on the first and the other half on the eighth, then I will jot that down on my actual calendar so that I can keep track of the exact day that something was actually paid. So this is like the best way for me to kind of stay on top of things and even be able to break down certain expenses. Like I said, my kids' hair, their hair for the entire month is $120. But I do like to break it down every single Saturday because that's the day that they actually get their hair done. And I know I will need $30 on that Saturday for their hair. So it's just another way for me to kind of stay on top of things and to make sure I have enough money to cover all of the expenses that are due that particular week. So the graph sheet is for me to keep track of everything for the overall month. And then my calendar kind of helps me stay on track week by week. And then I'll also use my actual weekly spreads to keep me on top of my daily spending and my weekly bills. So that's kind of how my breakdown works and it has been working for me for quite some time now. I just had to switch up the way I kind of set up my monthly goals sheet and now I feel like this will actually work out much better for me. So now I'm writing down on Tuesdays because that is my actual payday that I'm going to save $325. And like I said, I may not be able to save the exact $325 each particular week but if I am unable to save it one week then I'm going to try and save more the very next week and so we'll see kind of how it works but like I said these are all goals and I am constantly changing up my budget as I need to as the day go on as the weeks go on I am constantly looking it over and seeing what I need to do move adjust and change and I think that's the big thing about having a budget. If you realize that it's not set in stone, that you have the ultimate power to change it as much as you need to, to make sure that it is working for you, then you are good. So now I'm just going to write down my goals on the sidebar here. And this is just a little reminder of the things that I want to do for this particular month. And that is to save $1,300 and to pay down debt. My main goal is my credit card debt, paying down um, $750 of that. And if I am able to achieve those two goals, then I will consider this month a full success. So that is my full spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me. As you know, I pulled the sheets out of my budget planner and so now I'm going to pop them into my main planner here because I do keep this planner with me at all times and I would like to keep my budget with me at all times so I can check it as I need to check it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And until next time, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.